What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to another cool tech video. This month we're going to be looking at tech under 50 bucks and everything I mentioned in this video will be listed down below in the description section. Let's begin. First up we have Zus, which is a smart USB car charger and finder. This is no ordinary car charger. Not only do you get two USB ports with a total of 4.8 amps of output, but once you plug this into your car, download the app, you can actually track where your car is parked, which is perfect for those enormous parking lots at theme parks and malls. Once you get close to your car, the app will indicate that the car is within sight. Another awesome feature that comes with this device is that it will ask you if you want to set a timer as soon as you park, which is great for places that have timed parking or even meters on the streets. This next item isn't the headphone stand, the headphone itself, or even the skins on it, but the actual ear pads. I recently got these to replace the stock ear cups on my M50Xs because my ears would get fatigue after a few hours of just wearing them. These are the memory foam ear cups from Brainwaves that fit most of the over-the-ear headphones from AKG, Hi-Fi Man, ATH, Philips, and more. And they also come in a bunch of different colors. With these new ear pads on, I can practically wear my M50Xs all day. The difference is night and day coming from the stock ear pads. These are also noticeably larger and thicker. With that being said, if you're an audiophile, you will notice the difference in sound quality. The larger ear pads increase the distance between the ears and the actual headphones, so the sound becomes distant and tinny. However, the trade-off to me was completely worth it as the comfort level has drastically increased. If you're serious about monitoring sound, I would not recommend these, but for gaming and casual media consumption, it works like a charm. Even though the headphone stand isn't part of the Cooltech on their $50, since it's over by 10 bucks. I know you guys are going to ask me about it in the comments section, so I'll just go over it real quick. So this is the Silverstone headphone hanger that recently replaced my Thermaltake headphone hanger. It's made out of aluminum, it's super heavy, and it's overpriced in my opinion. I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks cool, but for 60 bucks, I expect it to float or something instead of just holding my headphones. But I'll drop a link down below if anyone is interested in checking it out. This next item is a 4-port USB hub from Anchor, but with full USB-C compatibility, meaning you can connect your USB Type-C devices and get maximum charging speeds available for your device. The USB hub also features IQ Tech technology that will detect the device you are plugging in and maximize the charge speed up to 2.4 amps per port. It does come with a double-sided 3M tape which is great if you guys want to add this under your desk for your own setup and charge your devices. This next item is something I came across doing my best tech deals of the week a few weeks ago. The original price of these were 100 bucks, and they dropped to $12 so immediately I picked up a pair to see if these are in fact even worth $12. I mean sure, it's flimsy and light, but I think it's designed to be like this. It stretches pretty wide and so far it hasn't broken on me after using it for about a week. On one of the ear cups you will find the USB port needed to charge the headphones and a wheel to control the volume and skip tracks as well as to power it on and off. Oh and it also has a built in mic so you can actually take calls. The ear cups are really tiny but somewhat comfortable. Needless to say these are over the ear type headphones, meaning they rest on top of your ear. But how does it sound? Honestly I was blown away with the quality. For $12, these sound pretty damn good. You don't get much noise isolation or deep bass. The mids and highs are above average, and the sound is very crisp. The volume control on these are insane. I seriously had the volume at like 25% and I was going deaf. These headphones get extremely loud, so I wouldn't recommend it for children. Actually, SoundBot made the exact same headphones for children, and they are called the SB272s instead of the SB271s, but I'll go ahead and leave links to both of them down below. Honestly, for 12 bucks, these sound amazing, but if it were up to me, I'd rather delete my channel than wear these in public. I mean, look how silly these look on my head. These last two items are for my PC Master Race peoples, and do I have a treat for you guys. First up, we have a wireless gaming mouse from Havit. It features six pre-programmed buttons with a dedicated DPI button up top. The back and forward buttons are really easy to reach and the mouse is extremely comfortable due to its ergonomic design. Seriously, it's as comfortable as my MX Master from Logitech which costs around 100 bucks. It's great for palm grippers due to its flat surface, but me being a claw gripper, I honestly didn't have any problems with it. What I love about this mouse is that it comes with a slot where you can keep the receiver, which is perfect for travel. That way you don't end up losing it. Please take notes, Logitech. When I was gaming with it, I didn't notice any lag. For a wireless gaming mouse around 15 bucks, 
I was surprised at how accurate it was. With that being said, if you're a pro gamer playing FPS games like Call of Duty or Counter-Strike, I probably would stay away from this mouse and spend a little extra. Last but not least, we have this mechanical keyboard from Red Dragon. If I told you guys you can get a really awesome mechanical gaming keyboard for only 40 bucks, you would probably slap the crap out of me in this belief. So the Kumara keyboard has 87 standard keys, which are all 100% anti-ghosting. You also get a Windows lock key, interchangeable WASD, and arrow keys. Obviously because of the budget, you don't get German-made cherry switches, but it states that you get switches that are cherry green equivalent. Just listen at how satisfying the clicks are. The keyboard is constructed out of aluminum and ABS and feels really premium. The only downside to this keyboard is that you only get red backlighting, which you can turn off, but you don't get any other color options. Also, it doesn't come with a wrist rest, but honestly, for only $40, I believe this is the best mechanical gaming keyboard you can buy in the market. I don't know why I didn't include this in my top 5 mechanical gaming keyboards under $50. So that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help me out and I can continue doing these every single month for you guys. Uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.